Hello, Alexander Wolf here, CEO of New Ray Media. In this episode, we're going to look at a challenge almost all marketer manager, marketing managers face and most small businesses go through as they grow. This is the struggle of having a very small or even a solo uh, one person marketing team. We're going to take a look at four points that can help you out so that this challenge doesn't get in the way of uh, you doing the best work that you can. And as a bonus, these tips will help you not to feel like you're being asked to build Rome in one day. So the first topic is going to be communication with your manager. The biggest and main challenge uh, and the one that should be tackled first is the lack of communication with your manager about what can realistically be done with what you have. I feel your pain and I know how hard these conversations can be and they can get confrontational and defensive. I have personal experience with managers having unrealistic expectations and it's definitely a conversation you look to avoid. But once you do, you feel so good and free and on track. Uh, you start enjoying your job even more because there are real expectations, real goals, and a clear plan on how to get there. So let's run through a way you can start this conversation with your higher ups, your manager. Uh, it can go something like this. Hey boss, uh, I was hoping you have a, a second to chat about our marketing deliverables and our overarching goals. You started with uh, what do we want to accomplish in what time frame? Using SMART goals is a great way to approach this. Just Google how to use SMART goals. It's super simple. Uh, then we move to budget. You can ask, am I the budget? Like, is my salary the only resource you're willing to invest in marketing? Or are there some other resources I can tap into for these goals? After this discussion, you will have lots of information and you will be ready to get into the fun part. You will know more about the strategy you want to use to achieve the goals uh, you have now redefined with the help of your manager. Set key performing indicators to measure your progress and success or even failures. And there will be failures, but that's a good thing because that gives you the chance to tweak your strategy. And don't forget the most important step to build reports so that you can demonstrate the value of what you're doing to your managers. Great quote by Jordan Peterson. We can not navigate without something to aim at. And while we're in this world, we must always navigate. Now, if your manager is already expecting too much and you know it, don't stay quiet, express yourself. Tell them, I believe we are setting our goals too big compared to the allocated resources at the moment. Would you like to increase our budget or time frame to meet these new targets? Should we adjust our goals to something more manageable? Right off the bat, get on that because you don't want the trouble in the future when you, it's getting hard to meet those, meet those goals that you knew you weren't ever going to meet them. It's easy to be mad and blame the manager for not knowing what they're doing or you are doing, but that doesn't solve any problems. Uh, so try to put yourself in their shoes. They're experiencing the same pressure to achieve results that you are and even more due to their rank. So take the time to help them understand the process and the amount of work certain things take and convert them convert that manager into your ally. It's you and them against the problem you face because you're a team and that's how it should be. If your manager understands clearly all your job requirements, time, financial, skill level, that leads to them offering extra support when you need it. Our second topic is going to be FOMO, fear of missing out. We all have it as marketers, trust me. I have it and I have to fight back that sick feeling and those urges daily. Whoa, what, what's that cool thing? Insert something I see on social media or see something that a corporation that has millions of dollars in their marketing budget uh, is doing. Uh, should I be doing it? Yeah, let's, let me look into it. Let me see what's going on, how I can do it. 
uh, how much does it cost? It's just trying to do all the fancy new stuff all at the same time. Email programs, social media marketing, uh, design, influencer marketing, lead generation, video production. But more often than not, it's a single marketer and it's a small team juggling all the execution. Let's be honest. Odds are you have an area in marketing that's your strong suit where you feel very confident. Let's start there. Let's build a strategy centered on your strengths and, and have a strategy divided into sections for your week uh, by giving each task a set time for your schedule. For example, um, prep content for the email list or for the email blast, one hour. Writing the copy, one hour. So you know you're not overfilling your week's work and only start with one distribution platform. Huge advice here. As this current example, let's keep it going, the weekly mail uh, email subscription. Once you have all figured out, all the stuff figured out and um, you run it a couple times a week and prefer, you know, perfect the little things that you can, then you introduce some tech to make things a lot more efficient and collect data because you always want to collect data on who's receiving it, opens and all that kind of stuff. But you're going to ask, so why that structure that I'm laying out? Why not start with the software, all the fancy software, all the fancy tools right from the beginning? Well, you can, but I'm, I'm a subscriber to the Keynesian technique made by Toyota. The goal of this approach is continuous improvement. The idea is that small, ongoing, positive changes will lead to significant improvements. Otherwise, you run the risk of spreading your team too thin and all the planning and setup will definitely slow down your actionable parts of your strategy. And it will be easier to know where you can introduce automation and tech once you see the machine running. It's no longer just an idea. Uh, I, I can keep going. <laughs> should I keep going with examples on why you should try this out? Uh, so the simplest way I can put it is it's micro fast, it's macro slow by Gary Vaynerchuk. So topic number three, leveling up your strategy and marketing team. Now you want to grow your strategies reach into new distribution platforms, okay? Or you want better videos or photos uh, for your clothing or skincare products. You have proven the marketing power of your team skills. You have results and the company is going to a lot, a bigger budget for you to use. The dilemma is to outsource or internal hire to grow your team. Let's say for this example, you want to hire someone full time for video, photo, editing, all that kind of stuff because you might not have the experience in video shoots, pre-production, production, post-production, post or the company does not have policies, procedures, or templates to intake someone like that into the marketing machine, this would mean disrupting your present progress and process and a huge headache because I'm assuming you would be the one in charge of doing or helping in the hiring process. It takes time and lots of trial and error we know, we've been through it, to learn how to put together a pre-production brief and that's a template that takes time to build and expertise. Nonetheless, not something you want to be, you have to research the last minute before your shoot deadline this Thursday. And remember, the better the videographer who knows how to do all this stuff, the more they will cost and they're hard to find in, in Ontario. We've been looking and we do that every month uh, as much as we can. So my proposal, why not put the cost of your learning curve on someone else, a marketing agency? See how they operate, the process that they use to have content made by their videographer. Hey, ask them questions you want. You're paying them, they can answer the questions. Like, what do you think is the best way to hire a videographer for our needs? They know you, they know your needs. Yeah, what kind of basic equipment do you think we, we would need? Um, once you think that you have all the info that you need and the policies and procedures 
you need to minimize the disruption of your organization, go hire if you still think that's the best option. Let's not reinvent the wheel. Learn all you can from people that already know the ins and outs and then go on your own. All right, our fourth topic, how a small team can pack the biggest punch. If we go back to the strategy building process, you would have had to build some buying personas. A buying persona, according to HubSpot, is a semi-fictional representation of your ideal customer. It's based on market research, actual data about your existing customers, and a few educated assumptions. It helps you to understand and relate to an audience that you want to market your products or services to. While building these buying personas, give your team a little bit of extra time to go in deep in two things. One, where is the attention of your audience? And two, what type of content do they prefer to consume? Let's go for an example and put it in real, a real example to understand. Your buying persona can be uh, a Gen C in the greater Toronto area, uh, and most of their attention is spent on TikTok. They prefer to consume quick, fun skincare tutorial videos. Now you have your answer. By spending a little more time understanding your ideal customer, you can identify what platform they use the most and you know what specific type of content they like to consume on that platform. Your team focuses on finding those two things execute a strategy on producing that type of content and publish on that distribution platform. And you have yourself the start to a small team getting big results. All right, let's summarize this bad boy. One, communicating with your superiors what are the real capacities of the marketing team with the resources available is the first step to a good relationship of trust and appreciation between you two. Two, you're setting up your team for failure or even yourself for failure if you're trying to do everything marketing at the same time without the right resources to execute. Three, when you're ready to grow your marketing efforts, try hiring a marketing agency before internal staff so you can learn all you can from them and then shortcut your learning curve to certain organizational tasks and it's so much easier for you. And finally, four, Learn all you can about your ideal customer because it will save you lots of time and money when it comes to getting their attention. Yeah.